We continue our stories of survival series. Every day this week, all new at five, we're focusing on the lives impacted by gun violence. We want to show you these sobering numbers. According to the nonprofit Gun Violence Archive, more than 26,000 Americans have been hurt in shooting so far this year, and there's still four months left of 2022. More than 3,000 of those victims were children and teenagers. And here in Atlanta, shooting victims often end up in Grady's Marcus Trauma Center. The Fox Medical Team's Beth Galvin spoke with the team there about what it's like to actually treat these survivors. Beth. And Tom and Courtney, you know, we talk so much sort of on the news about the mass shootings, and those do take a terrible toll on communities. But at Grady, people come in with gun injuries every day, every night. And we got the chance to go inside Grady's Marcus Trauma Center and talk to the top surgeon and paramedic about treating the survivors. You see the shootings on the news. Dr. Elizabeth Benjamin sees what happens next, what bullets can do to the human body. It's terrible, it's terrible. Patients come in, they're scared, obviously. They've lost a lot of blood. Dr. Benjamin is chief of trauma surgery here at Grady Memorial Hospital, one of the busiest trauma centers in the country. We see a lot of this violence come through our doors and we treat a lot of these patients. When the patient comes in, they're often low blood pressure, mental status is not always there because they've lost so much blood. Grady EMS lead paramedic Fred Chamberlain is usually one of the first on the scene. It could be one patient, it could be five patients. You don't know until you get there. Chamberlain's been responding to shootings for 25 years. Every call is different. Every single one of them is different. It could be easy peasy, hey, oh, shot in the leg, all right, let's ride, we're going to Grady, to you've got four holes in your chest. I hope we make it to Grady. Because with some firearm injuries, every minute can matter. You just watch somebody slowly head towards the end of their life is their color becomes pale, their, their breathing becomes labored, and it's a race against time on those patients to get them to a trauma center so the surgeons can actually open them up and stop the bleeding. Once they get the patient to Grady, we take them rapidly up to the operating room and there's a team there on standby ready to go. But Benjamin says they don't often know what they're up against until they open the patient up. We see a lot of people that come in with minor wounds, but then also people that come in with really major wounds. You know, you see just a small wound on the surface, but inside the bullet has done a pretty amazing destruction to the body that requires you know, a lot of medicine and a lot of surgery to try to make them better. Benjamin says we hear a lot about mass shootings, but they see the daily toll of gun violence. This happens every single night. Every single night we have people coming in shot. I can't remember a time that I was on call when I didn't see a gunshot victim. On a busy shift, they may have three or four shooting patients in surgery. In 2021 alone, just over 1,100 shooting survivors were hospitalized at Grady. You know, that person that's shot and they're, they're in the hospital, their family is affected, their life is affected, their job, their livelihood, their ability to uh, earn a living, complete school, uh, take care of their family, all of those things are altered, often forever. Because Benjamin knows even the best medicine sometimes isn't enough. You know, that's part of my job. I understand rationally that I can't save everybody that comes in, but you can't help but be affected by that. Gun violence is something that affects people every single day. It needs to stop. And all this week on Fox 5 News at 5 and at 10, we're going to be bringing you stories of survival, talking to people whose lives have been changed by gun violence. And on Thursday, we're going to meet a Cherokee County woman who survived being shot seven times. Tina Davis was a runner and a fitness instructor, and she has not given up on her dream of one day running again. And Tom and Courtney, you know, her life was devastated. Mm -hmm. And the man who is now in prison was her estranged husband. Wow. So, you know, sometimes these are random. Sometimes it's people you yeah. know, but the problem is the same. It's yeah. devastating. It's rare that you get brought inside the operating room and get yeah. to talk to one of the surgeons that's yeah. on the very front lines of these victims of gun violence that get wheeled into their ORs. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Hard to imagine what they see day yeah. after day, night yep. after night, like she said. Yep. All right. Beth, thanks. Thanks.